I can't believe we did it. About that little 44. Dusting the 45s. Here we go. It's concierge anchoring service. Just don't break this out anytime. Oh, it's a beautiful sunrise this morning. Our last one here in Raroya. We're off to Tahania today. It's been a great stay, but we're really excited to move on to another place and get to see another atoll. Though it is a little bit stressful thinking about going through two passes, having to get to the passes in the first place, dodging bombies and all of that kind of stuff that goes along with it, but we'll figure it out. No problem with the bridle, no problem with the chain, and we are off and running. Good morning! That's Paradise Falls. We've got our caravan going, Nelling Warrior and Paradise Falls going with us. Love having buddy boats and it is a spectacular morning to make this move. So the first obstacle other than the bombies that we need to miss is the pass. The water should be outflowing but we want to make sure it's not too fast. We're going to just test it out when we get up there see how strong it is and do our best. Our journey today takes us to Tahania, another atoll. It is 150 nautical miles southwest of here and it should take us about a day to get there. We did get notice of a bunch of boats hitting reefs recently. It's a little unnerving. I am watching the water very carefully because I don't want that to happen to us. These were sailors with a lot of experience and they hit reef or bombies and that obviously is a huge concern. Thankfully no one has sunk their boat but there has been significant damage and we don't want that to happen to us. We are being extra vigilant, taking nothing for granted. Thankfully, we have our tracks from when we came in here three weeks ago now. We're set in terms of knowing which way we need to go, but if we are just following the tracks off by 20 or 30 feet, we could hit a bombie. So we want to be really careful. Wow, it looks really calm at the moment. Hopefully it stays that way. So far, no increase in speed. Still no increase? No increase. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of a sleigh ride at six knots. That would have been kind of cool. Rob can come up there and push if you want. <laughs> All right, guys, a big pickup of 0. 0.3 knots. Hold on to your horses. I don't think those are horses. They're like pigs, maybe. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. I can't believe we did it. Pick up a 0.5. Woohoo! Whoa, so we got two knots of current. Way to go team, woohoo! Wow, it's really starting to pick up now. That's amazing. Just tell them that they want to keep their engines on. Warrior is right behind us. And that is Paradise Falls. We are sailing, it is a beautiful day. Oh my goodness, could not be any nicer. 12 or so knots of wind, easy sailing. Fishing lines are out, let's catch a fish. So it's really interesting. We have our main and our jib up and are doing between five and a half to six knots. And we are traveling with two Leopard 45s and they have both had to drop their mains and one is putting up a parasail. Uh, because they're getting rocked by the swell. So, how about that little 44? <laughs> Dusting the 45s and we're able to fly our main and our jib. We're even reefed and we're still kicking butt. So, I'm very happy about that. I know these are fighting words. <laughs> so, sorry, Leopard 45s. Wow, babe, we're doing wing on wing. You'd think we were actually sailors or something. We've had a good sail all day, and now we've got some squalls here on the radar that are coming in. One is back there. Looks like it's gonna be coming in behind us. Hopefully it will miss us, it should. We are making good time. We are leapfrogging our friends that are out here, warriors in front of us, and now Paradise 
Lake Falls is behind us. Well, we're going to make a turn here in about 20 miles. The sail keeps collapsing and opening and collapsing and opening. And it's very frustrating. But once we make the turn, we'll have a great angle on the wind and things should be good at that point. Three more hours. Yeah, we can see the island now. Great time. Wow, here we are, right outside of Tahanea. Waited for about two weeks for a weather window. And it's worth waiting for because it's a lot more pleasant. You get more sleep. You're not constantly on the boat, working up the sails, worrying about the next time you're going to get hit. It's more relaxing. It's more predictable when you're going to get there. You use zero fuel. That's why we like to do it. These are just a few of the things that we think of when we're working on a weather window. People ask us, what's the worst weather that you've been in thinking that they're going to get like this tale of surviving on the high seas and waves breaking over the boat? Let me tell you what. Good thing is we're not on a schedule. That's where you get into problems where you have to go to meet somebody or whatever. We will always wait until we have a good weather window and therefore we pretty much 95% sure that we're going to have a safe, comfortable passage. Now, if you don't learn weather and you just kind of go out and don't really treat it seriously, that's when you're going to run into problems. And fortunately, in the four years that we've done this, we've never been in any real scary weather. Here we go, pass number two for entry. And we are hoping it's uh, supposed to be a 9.30 high tide. It is 9.20 right now, and we're hoping that the tide is outflowing or slack. Got it. Coming up to the anchorage. I am not prepared. I don't have anything ready yet. But we'll get there. Anchors down. Getting in the water to check out how bad our bombing situation is. Closest thing to being a cowboy. It's like having a breed calf and just pulling around, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna help the Paradise Falls get their anchor down. One float one. in. I'm not ready for the next one yet, man. No. Oh, okay, Matt Shannon, so just hold the boat. So we got them in the water trying to help us out. You're going to be the first one who's done this and not had to get wet. <laughs> it's a new record. Hey, forward. Woo, this is a hoot, isn't it, man? It's like a group effort here. It's concierge anchoring service. Dude. <laughs> This anchoring is sponsored by Sailing Blown Away. It's a cheap little thing that's going to get edited anyway, but it makes me feel so good. After being at sea for 27 hours, it was great to get into the beautiful water and meet the underwater residents of Tahanea. The North Anchorage area is known to have some great snorkeling, and we definitely agree. And it's always fun to build memories with friends.
having our last night with these two boats over here paradise falls and warrior they all have a 90-day visa so they're in a hurry they're going to leave for tahiti uh, early tomorrow morning so tonight's the last night and to bring on the festive occasion i have worn one of my many tuxedo t-shirts just don't break this out anytime but only for special occasions which tonight is and we're going to have dinner a little mexican food here and it's beautiful we're going to watch the sunset there we have the boat all cleaned up it's a good thing we have company it's the only time the boat gets cleaned. that's right it's the only time the boat gets clean so here's the lovely admiral i'm sad our friends are leaving i know we are so sad we've just had such a great time together we've been together for like over a week now so look how nice the table setting looks and just this lifestyle never gets old it's just fantastic the views the fresh air nature sunsets and sunrise and it just is incredible thanks for following along we love having you guys with us I uh, hate that our buddy boats are leaving us, heading to Tahiti today. We love, we love. <laughs> oh, we love you! <laughs> oh my gosh, what a sports <laughs> Love you First time, first time. Oh, well, it ends well. Happy Father's Day! Love you guys! Love you! Have fun! Safe trip! We'll miss you too! I gotcha!